Not even all the supercomputers of the world can predict human history even two years in advance. And in here, this one did with what kind of supernatural power can you do that? I mean, he's a Baptist, so he's not saying, I'm speaking in tongues, and I'm, I'm doing this with a, with a gift of the Spirit. But he did, nevertheless, prophesy of what would happen, and it has. How did he do it? He simply did one thing. He simply took this word of, as the word of the living God. He took it at its full strength. Didn't doubt it, didn't waver it, didn't justify it, didn't water it down. Today, CNN is attacking Israel. They're not a great friend of Israel or of believers. But CNN wasn't around back then when he was. And if it had been, they would have no idea of what he was talking about. MSNBC attacks Israel, but they would have no idea if they were back then. But Charles Spurgeon knew the real story more than they do because he believed the Word of God. You know, the news that you see on, the, on television or on the Internet, it's out of date the next day, most of it. But the Word of God is never out of date. It was up to date 150 years ago, and it's up to date now. In fact, it was more than up to date because it was talking about things before they became up to date. Charles Spurgeon didn't go by what it looked like. If he did, he never would have said what he said. Hey, but that was a risk to say that. It was impossible, impossible. There's nothing happening there for 2,000 years. And it's hopeless. And the people who should be there are across the ends of the earth. The land is wasteland. Nobody wants it. And it's under the rule of the enemies of the Jewish people. But he didn't go by what it looked like because it was impossible. It didn't matter, though, what it looked like to him. It didn't matter what the situation was. It didn't matter if it was impossible because he had one thing. He had the Word of God. And the Word of God says, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Didn't matter how far from reality. Didn't matter. If he went by what he saw, he never would have said it. He simply trusted in the Word regardless of what he saw. When it was hard to trust, when it was hard, because it didn't look realistic. But he was proven right. He spoke with a power that he could never have known. It was beyond his knowledge, beyond his wisdom, beyond, way beyond because the Word of God does that. He was able to speak with more power than any supercomputer today. Because he can't figure it out, but this figured it out. Simply by going by God's Word. And precisely because it seemed so unrealistic that it is today so powerful to hear what he said. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed. And share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.